what do you see in this photograph? Uh, let me show you the photograph. Okay. I think it's a woman. It's a woman or a man. I'm not sure. And it has a, a weapon. Maybe it's protecting hair or his land. I think so. This picture um, uh, was taken by, um, by National Geographic. She's part of the uh, Akashinga, uh, uh, Akashinga, that's a female unit, uh, anti fortuitous hunting, uh, not for profit. She practices the identification technique in Zimbabwe. This picture represents the, the fortuitous hunting and people who defend or protect these animals that are very, um, that, you know, have problems with the extinction. So, that's what we can do with the photography. We can uh, we can show to to the society how uh, the problems that we cannot see in, in, in where we are. Where, yes, where where we are. So that's the that's the uses that I was uh, talking about. Um, the uses to help the, our society to to get. Uh, uh, to think about uh, about those problems. So the next question: um, What does the photograph uh, suggest about to you about civil society? What do you think about this? What do you think the photograph um, uh, make uh, is trying to 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 communicate in this time? This is a picture of work. War, and and I think this is um a a, a problem or or an issue in between countries because they are like tanks, and I think this is the way in the past and some tanks and wars and it, it was between nations, and right now it's the same problem but it's like more hidden because with this pandemic situation and the explosions and all uh, the things that they are happening in, in, in a way affect us, it's, it's for me it's like a war too. Uh, the, this man that is in front of the, um, you know, the, the militaries and stuff, um, uh, was protesting because um, they uh, they were having problems with uh, with um, with you know the similar they they were having problems similar to Venezuela like uh, problems with the uh, with the um, the cost of the of the life in 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 those times in in that time so. And the the government of China sent the the militars to 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 take control on the protest and stuff. So the next picture, this is a very controversial picture. What do you see in this picture? What do you think uh, the photographer was uh, trying to communicate to uh, the world? To say exactly what the photographer wanted to transmit to communicate through this picture um, it's kind of difficult but according to what I can perceive um, it's um, how vulnerable are people that live in some parts of the world in this case I, I suppose it's Africa any, any part, any place. Uh, maybe the photographer wanted to, to communicate that, that there are people that are very vulnerable. And this photo has always been very controversial and because it was taken in, in 1993, I think, by a photographer called uh, Kevin Carter. It shows uh, the hunger uh, wilderness that in south of Sudan. This picture got a, a Pulitzer also. Okay, well, I think this world is changing, and we must understand that. You know, when you see this this kind of things, the poverty, uh, people are dying, 
um, you know, I think is is very sad, uh, but it's uh, it's real. Is our reality in this country? We used to be a, a wealthy country, as I as I said before, and um, um you know, we have to change because th that kind of thing is is our problem. We have to connect our soul, our heart with that kind of things. You know, yeah, exactly, and and the photography mm -hmm. is a way to do it. This is the power of the photo photography. People think think that photography is just to take pic beautiful pictures and then we we show it and then and also we can work with that and, and stuff. But this is the the real power that that we have when we take pictures, and and also we can talk. For hours, uh, for hours and hours about uh, about um, about problems that we have, but if we show the picture, is different. Uh, we can connect our feelings with this. With this.